In this lesson video, we're going to take a look at coding in the actual Java file, or our source code for our Android application. And so we've so far been working with the layout and working in the activity main.xml file. We're going to switch over to the main activity.java file. And you can always find that by opening the or expanding the source folder, expanding your package, and finding main activity.java. I've already got the tab open over here, so I'm going to switch over to this. And in this particular lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to link the edit text that we had created from the previous lesson and then also the hello world to our source code and so I'll be creating two new objects in our Java file and we're going to use the find view by ID method to be able to link them to our source code so that we can later on work with them in our code. So to begin with I'm going to go ahead and just expand this to maximize it so that I can have more room to work with and I like to turn line numbers on so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well by clicking on the window going down to preferences, expanding the general option, looking under editors, in fact I need to expand the editors and find the text editor. There we go. And then I have the option here for the checkbox to show line numbers. I'll go ahead and put that checkbox on and then go ahead and hit OK. Alright, so now that I have the line numbers here to work with, I can see some things here. Uh, it goes one, two, three, and then six. And that's because I have some code that was collapsed. You can see I have three different import statements, which are different classes that are imported into our activity. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that back down. I can also collapse any of the methods that I create. So if I collapse line nine there, you can see how it, it took the code and collapsed it, which makes it a little easier to read sometimes when you have a lot of code that you've written. I'll go ahead and expand that back again. And I've got two different methods that I have already created for us. The onCreate method, which is going to execute whenever the application is created. And then also this onCreate options menu, which will be covered in another section of our course. So to begin with, what I want to do is I want to create two new objects to work with. I have a text view and I have an edit text that I have on my layout that I actually want to work with in code. And so the first thing I need to do is type in text view. And I'm going to do this before the on create. So I'm going to create a class level object up here. Text view. And I'm going to call this one TV Hello. The name that you have here really isn't that significant to the coding itself. It's really more of just a way for you to be able to know the object that you're working with. So you can kind of name it anything you want. I'm going to call it TV Hello. You can see that I've got an error here or a red squiggly line underneath the text view. And that's because my activity does not know what a text view is. So I need to import that class. So here it is, import text view. I'll go ahead and click on that. And it added an import statement up here. You can see now it says import android.widget.textView. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that down again. And I need to also add in an edit text. So I'm going to bring over an edit text. Edit text. And I'm going to call this one et for edit text. And then name. So this is the kind of naming convention that I'm going to use here within my actual Java code. Again, I've got the same problem. Edit text has a red line under it, so I'm going to hover my mouse over it, and I can see that I can import that class. I'll go ahead and click that, and if I expand that, you'll see that now I also have the edit text as well imported in. Okay, I've now created two different objects. TV hello, which is a text view, and ET name, which is an edit text. I need to now link them over to the text view and edit text from our layout. So if I go back over to our layout, you can see I want to link it to this hello world one and the first and last name edit text that I have here. I'm going to switch back over to the code and let's go ahead and do that within the onCreate method. I'm going to go ahead and space down a little bit. You can see that I have a closing and opening parenthesis here. This is all of the statements entered in between the opening and closing are going to belong to the onCreate method and that's where I want to be in. So I space that down to give me a little bit of room to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and link the TV hello to the text view hello from our layout. I can do that by typing in TV hello, space, and then an equal sign. And then I'm going to go ahead and say that it is a text view, and I need to do this in parentheses. I'm going to come outside of the parentheses now and put a space, and I'm going to use that method, find view by ID. And then I'm going to open up the parentheses, and I'm going to do the R for resource, dot, and I'm going to look for an ID. So I'm going to type in ID, dot, and this is the ID of our text view. 
and you can see here I've got quite a few different ones listed here. Now if you do not see yours listed that you're working with, there's a good chance that you didn't save your activity main.xml. And if you see the little asterisk up in the corner like you do here for the main activity, that means it's not saved. And you can always go back to it and save it, come back to your code, and then you should be able to see that here. You may have to delete the period and then re-enter the period to get your list of options again, but that'll give you your option if you do not see it. I do see mine, so I want to use the text view hello. This is the ID from my layout, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that, and that fills it in, and I'm going to end that with a semicolon. Now I'll go ahead and hit enter, and I also need to do the same thing for the edit text. So I'm going to type in et name equals, and this is an edit text, and I'll come outside the parentheses, and I'm going to go ahead and do the find, and if you press control and hit the space bar, you'll get the list of options for what you've typed in so far. And you can see I've got find view by ID. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And you can see that it is looking for an ID. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the R dot ID dot. And then I'm going to look for that edit text name that I want to link it to. Edit text name. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. And so what I've done is I've created two objects up here at the class level. Now the class level and objects created at class level will be covered in other lessons and in a different section as well. But I do want to just mention that the reason why I've declared them up here is because I can then use them later on within other methods. So I have them declared up here and then I have them instantiated here or I have the values set to them here within the onCreate method itself. Okay, the only thing I have left to do now is just save my work. So I'm going to do Control and S to save my work on a Windows computer. And that concludes this lesson video.